Hello guys, welcome to DTW GED Prep. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking question on system of equations, okay? Okay, these um, questions usually come out in the GED um, test. Not too much. You could see two questions. You could, see, you could see three of them, or you could just see one, okay? But um, it's within this range. It's not usually harder than this, but I'm still going to do the difficult ones, okay? The ones where um, X for this, um, uh, for this um, first question, X would have like a coefficient of 2, Y would also have a coefficient of 2, okay? And um, I will also teach you on how to solve that, but let's do the simple ones first, okay? And system of equations usually come out in your slopes and graphs where you're, you're given, you're told you're given two equations, you know? A system of equations is when you have two linear equations and you're told to look for the intersection of those lines. These are two lines, two linear equation, which is two lines, and you're told to look for the intersection. And looking for the intersection means just getting your value for x and y. That's what it means. Sometimes the question just comes out this way and say, find x and y. Okay, so we're going to solve these three um, questions here, GED test, uh, practice test questions um, in this video. Okay, and the next video I'll be doing um, tougher ones, which you don't need, which you don't need, but I'm still going to do them for um, your own for better understanding all right and please if it's your first time on this channel please subscribe to this channel as a baby channel please i would love your support subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and share this video in your different facebook groups okay whatsapp group you know uh with your friends with all with other students preparing for their ged test okay so uh so let's solve number one now number one says x uh, plus y equal to 9, then 2x minus 3y equal to 8. Okay, what I try to do, I teach, when I teach uh, my students, uh, by the way, I tutor, okay, I do private tutoring, so if you're interested, I'll leave um, the link of, yes, the, a Facebook group, which we're over 1,600 uh, members in that group, supporting each other for the GED math test. All right, I'll leave the link there. And you can contact me, you can private message me through the Facebook group, okay? Go to the group, you would um, see me as the admin, and you can send me an, a, a message, and we'll take it up from there. You know, Let me know your schedule, okay? So, let's go back to this question now. So, what I tell my students is, I tell them, make this, just make this as equation one, okay? And make this equation two. All right, just tag it this way. So after naming my my two equations, equation one and two, the next thing I do is find the easiest one, okay, that we can isolate a variable, all right, as in a variable without a coefficient, all right. So and it's easy for me to use equation one. So what do I do? I bring equation one here, and let's say I want to isolate y, okay? You can isolate x first. You can also isolate y first. It depends on your own choice, okay? But I want to isolate y here. So I do this. I say x plus y equal to what? 9. Isolating y just means making y stand alone on the left-hand side of the equation. So take every other thing to the right-hand side. So we take x to this side. So we have here y is equal to taking a positive x to this side. We have a negative x. So minus what? x, okay? Now, we put in the value of y as equal to 9 minus x into equation 2. All right, so wherever you see y, put 9 minus x. So we have 2x minus, this is a y, 3 bracket 9 minus x equal to 8. Okay, why we do, why we, why we do this is so we can have one variable and find that variable okay so when we find that variable it's easier easy easy for us to get the next variable so the variable now we're finding okay is x all right so let us open up this bracket here so we have 2x minus 3 times 9 that will give us a negative or 27 all right don't forget the negative sign all right always know when you're opening a bracket it is a sign here the sign should affect everything in the bracket. So a negative 3 times a negative x would be what? A positive or 3x, okay? Where, that's where it's important. I always um, tell students I tutor, don't forget this negative sign, all right? So the negative will multiply this negative to be positive. If you don't, you just do ne um, uh, 3 times negative x 
and you have a negative 3x here, you're going to get the answer wrong. And funny enough, the answer would be in your option. Okay, because they know this is a common mistake uh, people make during um, algebra and system of equation. Okay, so don't make that mistake. So equal to what? 8. Here, all right, so we now take um, light terms. So we have 2x and 3x left here. So we have 2x plus 3x equal to, we have 8. Take minus 27 to this side. We have a positive 27. 2x plus 3x is of 5x. And what is 8 plus 27 is going to give us 35. Here to get x, we divide both sides by 5. This would cancel x. Then uh, 35 divided by 5 will give us what? 7. So we've gotten our value for what? x as 7. Now it is easy for us to get the value for what? y. Okay? So all we need to do is just put in the value of x as 7 into this particular equation which we've isolated y already. All right? So we have y will be equal to 9 minus what? 7. Okay? Which will give us what? What's 9 minus 7? That would give us a 2. So our answer here is what x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 2. So this is the answer for this system of equation. So for number 2, we have y is equal to 3x plus 15 and 5x minus 2y is equal to minus 26. Okay, so, so this is already easy because uh, y has been isolated. So this is equation 1, okay, and this is equation 2. So y has been isolated for us. So all we need to do is wherever we see y in equation 2, we put what? 3x plus 15. So here, y is here. So we have 5x minus 2 brackets 3x plus 15 equal to negative or 26 okay so we have to open up this bracket so we have 5x minus 2 times 3x that'll give us a negative 6x and minus 2 times plus 15 will give us a negative or 30 okay equal to negative 26 so we have to collect like terms right so this negative 30 will come here and we are left here with 5x minus 6x equal to negative 26 taking this here we have a positive what 30 negative coming this side we have a positive 30 okay so 5x minus 6 we're going to have a negative what x equal to a negative 26 plus 30 we are going to subtract and our answer will be in positive so that's uh, 30 minus 26 that will give us 4 okay and um, so this will be positive but remember there's a negative here so for this negative to cancel out what do we do we just we know that there's an invisible minus one here all right so here we we just do this we just say uh, my divided by minus one divided by minus one okay where there's an invisible one here and where this negative one will cancel this negative one so we have x is equal to when you have a four divided by a negative number okay the answer will be a negative and a four divided by 1 is still a 4. So we have our x as what? A negative 4. All right. Now, the next thing is to get our y. We already, uh, y has already been isolated in equation 1. So we have here y is equal to 3x plus 15. All right. And don't be confused about these negative uh, numbers. I think um, it should be under the topic um, multiplication and division of um, sign numbers, okay? So when you have a negative um, in front of x here, you could just do this. I, If I want to do it uh, the fast way, I will just multiply both sides by a negative sign. But the negative will cancel out this x for this. But the right way to make you understand is there's an invisible one here. So you just divide by minus 1, divide by minus 1, okay? And the negative will come to this um, the number on your right hand side so let's put in our negative x as negative 4 into this equation so we have y is equal to 3 in parentheses negative 4 plus sorry plus 15 so uh, 3 times negative 4 will give us a negative 12 plus 15 
and what is a negative 12 plus 15 okay we're going to subtract and an answer will be positive so that's 15 minus um, x will give us what 3 so we have a positive what 3 so this is our answer so we have here x equal to a negative 4 and y equal to a positive 3 so this is the answer for this system of what equations all right so let's go on to this the final question let me raise this quickly so the final question we're going to do now okay so this is our final question it says 7x minus y is equal to 22 then we have 4x my, uh, plus 2y is equal to 10. So these are equation 1 and equation 2. All right. So uh, here we just have, we can isolate y. All right. Since y doesn't have a coefficient, doesn't have a number in front of it, so we can isolate y. So let's isolate y. So here we have 7x minus y is equal to 22. So we'll take 7x to this side. We are left with a negative y is equal to 22 minus what 7x. Now, there's a bit of a challenge here. We have a negative in front of what y. So how do we cancel out this negative? All right. Um, the fastest way to do this is just multiply both sides of the equation by a negative sign. All right. So I'll just put a parenthesis here and say uh, negative times this parenthesis here and say negative times everything here so a negative times this negative here will be a positive y and a negative times um, opening up the bracket a negative times 22 we have a negative 22 and a negative times uh, this negative uh, 7x we have a positive what 7x okay so wherever we see y in equation 2 we put negative 22 plus 7x all right this is the fastest way to do this. The other way is to divide everything by a negative one, okay, which is quite long, okay, and you still get this answer, all right. So let's now put in y as this into equation two. So we have 4x equal to, uh, sorry, plus two brackets. This is, you know, this is y. So we put in minus 22 plus 7x equal to what? 10, all right. So we have to open up the bracket there. So thank God we have a positive here. So a positive 2 times a negative 22 will give us a negative 44. Then a positive times this positive 7x will give us what? A plus, a positive what? 14x equal to 10. 10. All right, so let's take like terms. This negative 44 is going to come to this side. So we're left here with 4x plus 14x equal to 10 bringing this negative 44 to the side is going to be a positive what 44 okay so this plus this 4x plus 14x will give us what 18x equal to this plus this will give us what 54 all right okay so we divide both sides by 18 to get x by 18 this would cancel out and 54 divided by 18 is going to give us what 3 so x is equal to 3. Now we have to find y by just putting the value of x equal to 3 into this equation that we've isolated y. Okay, so we go, we have y is now equal to negative 22 plus 7 in parentheses, what 3, okay? And that is negative 22, uh, a positive 7 times 3, that will give us a positive what? 21 and what is a negative 22 plus uh, 21 that will give us what a negative one so y is equal to a negative one so our final answer is what x is equal to three and y is equal to a negative one so this is how you solve system of equations and the method i use here is called substitution sorry i didn't mention it earlier earlier it's called substitution there's another method called elimination and which i'm going to use for the more advanced one all right to explain it to you but for just simple ones like this just use substitution all right because what we do do what we've been doing here after isolating y okay we substitute the value of y into equation two 
So that's what we've been doing for the um, for these three questions. So this is how, whenever you encounter any system of equation um, uh, questions, this is how you solve them. And if you need further explanation, let me know in the comment section uh, below so I could do more videos on this. And um, please um, give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so you're instantly notified of every educational video we do for you to make sure you ace your GED math test. And from us, from DTW Tutorials, don't forget that you are destined to win. And most importantly, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He's the one who's going to give us everything good and lead us to heaven at last. Thank you, and see you in our next video.